It starts off with the whole family hanging out, doing their usual activities. JJ is painting and roasting his sister for no reason, as usual. Yeah, Ma, that's true ghetto artistry. I use your pen cushion as the apple, Dad socks as the avocado, and Thelma's face as the lemon. <laughs> James is at the table figuring out all their bills for the month. It turns out they got some extra money left over. They super pumped about that. It's a good time. Oh shit. Everything, baby. Rent, utilities, and luxuries. Daddy, you forgot to mention food. These days, that comes under luxuries. It's never happened to this family before. What are we gonna do with the extra $35, James? Uh fucking nothing what can you buy for 35 dollars it's like one uber eats meal y'all gotta split between the five of y'all now it's the 70s though that's probably like 900 dollars. you could do a lot with that actually i'd like for selma to take singing lessons with gertie vincent you really mean it hmm? yeah baby matter of fact you can call gertie right now and make the arrangements oh i will they decide to use the money on some singing lessons for thelma Nigga, you better save that shit, man. Y'all always crying about you ain't got no fucking money all the time. Or better yet, how much do shape ups cost in the 70s? Cause goddamn, bro. Y'all niggas definitely need that shit immediately. The whole family. $35, the whole family. That's money well spent. That's a good deal. They trying to get the singing lessons from their neighbor upstairs named Gertie. Apparently she used to be a singer or something and she gives singing lessons now. Guess she ain't home. She killed me, mom. Lord. That chocolate cake was out of sight. Reminded me of my late husband. Sweet, black, and satisfying. Go in the house. Hey, bro, Gertie a freak. Is that what I'm hearing right now? You better stop playing, Gertie. I see you. She ready, bro. Also, ain't this the lady from Crooklyn who dog got stuck in the damn couch? That's pretty funny. R.I.P. Queenie. That's not funny. Hold on! Oh, God! Take you right now! They asked Gertie about some singing lessons, but she says she's giving it all up and retiring. Oh, I don't think that's gonna be possible. You just saved yourself from a terminal ear ache. I'm gonna crack out of you about your sister singing, you gonna have a terminal butt ache. You trying to threaten me? Ew, nigga, pause. Actually, no, you a dad. You can say stuff like that. Dads can make sus ass threats, I guess, if they want. You don't need to pause. That's the rule. Anyway, Gertie says she's giving up the singing lessons because it's too much trouble or some vague excuse like that. Bro, why Gertie got the straightest lineup out of everybody in the show? These niggas' shape ups are really bothering me in real life. Like, look at Michael, bro. This nigga got that man dark shape up. Everybody's sad now that Gertie is retiring. Then she leaves, and shortly after, Florida's best friend Walona comes over. She's showing off her cool 70s clothes. Is this supposed to be clothes, bro? This is the latest line of fashion called the Recession Rag. <laughs> Florida tells Walona that Gertie is retiring or whatever. Then Walona says she knows the whole story. Of Apparently, she know everybody business or whatever. That's like her running joke in the show. I got all the information from a friend down at the social security office. Every extra two dollars she makes giving a singing lesson, they take away a dollar from her social security check. People work hard all their lives to qualify for social security and then when they get it, it ain't enough to make them feel secure mm -hmm. and it sure ain't enough to make them okay. get social on. Michael comes in and he says he got an extra nickel for taking out Gertie's trash just now. Florida says he shouldn't be taking money from Gertie cause she broke as hell or whatever. Don't be telling her business, especially to a little ass kid. You know they be saying anything. Also, there's just some gossip you heard just now, a few seconds ago. You don't even know if it's true. Come on, lady. If things are that bad, mama, why'd she buy a dog? Michael, Miss Benson ain't got no dog. <laughs> Hold on! Then how come her garbage was loaded with empty dog food cans? Gertie's garbage loaded with empty dog food cans? They talking about Gertie some more behind her back. JJ throws a couple good roast at her. It's a fun for the whole family. Can't be that bad. Last year you ain't never been sick a day in her life. <laughs> How the fuck cheap is this dog food, by the way? I'm sure you can get some equally cheap human food, right? How much is potatoes or something? Get some potatoes. Top ramen? I don't know. It's the 70s. I have no idea how much stuff costs, bro. James, you and Flo come up with any ideas to help Gertie count me in, okay? All right, yeah. Eating one more person sure ain't gonna send none of us to bed hungry. That's right. That's right. Wow, Ma, that's a pretty big chicken you're cooking. Bro, she just took that bitch out the oven. How was she touching it with her bare hands? She was just using these oven mitts. Now she stopped. 
Now she's using them again. All right, forget it. Florida cooks some chicken and she wants to invite Gertie over so they can feed her. Everybody agrees that Gertie would be too proud to take the charity. So they lie and say it's JJ's birthday or something, well, I guess. Gertie shows up and now it's time for a nice family dinner in the hood. This is the main course. I'm a pretty good cook, you know, yeah. and this is my specialty, meatloaf. <laughs> That was awfully sweet of you, but I've already made chicken. I'm an old woman and a stubborn one. If you don't allow my meatloaf to be the main course, I won't stay. Bye. <laughs> Gertie brings over some dog loaf for everybody to share. Florida says she already cooked, but Gertie insists on everybody eating this damn dog loaf instead. Like super insists. She takes the chicken away. We never see that shit again. That's so rude, lady. You tripping. You a guest in this house. What kind of manners is that? I mean, then again, this chicken don't look that oh much my better. God. That should look hella weak, honestly. I don't want no skinny ass 70s chicken. Give me the dog loaf. Well, we'll just remove the chicken and my meatloaf will be just perfect for JJ's birthday. Now, James, as head of the family, you get the first. Walona comes back over and she's trying to get in on some of this dog loaf. She can't cook and she always be coming over and freeloading. That's like her running joke in the show. So bad that my stove was like a towering inferno. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I sit? Yeah, right. <laughs> Walona figures out that it's dog flavored meatloaf and she dips out. Then the whole family goes back to roasting Gertie again. Nobody want to eat her whack ass food. Now she's feeling bad. That's what the fuck you get, lady. You can't just impose your will on people. They invited you over to eat chicken and you took the chicken away. You was asking for smoke. That's your fault. JJ, why don't you say grace? Uh, the Lord is my German shepherd and- That's what's been going on. Do you think that I would give my friends pet food? Gertie, we heard that you- Of course, I couldn't afford better that sometimes I eat pet food. Well, I do. That is real meatloaf, believe me. I'm sorry, can you forgive us? Okay. Not gonna lie, I was expecting this shit to be a misunderstanding or something. Like she was pet sitting for somebody. I didn't know she was really gonna be eating the dog food. Oh hell no, Gertie. Yo ass crazy. Get the fuck out of this house. Why she get so offended too? Like, you really do be eating dog food. That's wild. Of course nobody trusts this meatloaf. They don't know what the fuck. If you went crazy or something, it's very understandable. I'm with the family on this one. At the same time, they shouldn't have been going through this damn lady's trash though. So I guess everybody's wrong here. Anyway, Gertie says she learned a valuable lesson about eating dog food and she's gonna fight for her social security check. She comes out of retirement and offers Thelma those singing lessons she wanted too. It's a happy ending. Old ladies eating dog food. I have spent years earning my social security mm -hmm. and I want it. Mm -hmm. right. Tell me, if you still want them lessons, I'm available. And if you want any more meatloaf, just howl. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of sad ass show is this? It's not a good time at all. They lied to me. The show lied to me. I still feel like there's cheap human food you can buy also, instead of eating puppy chow every goddamn night. What that shit even taste like? What flavor was it? They not even asking the real questions, bro. Moral of the story though, you shouldn't be going through your fucking neighbor's garbage and looking at what they eat. Why is she eat some beans or something? How much do beans cost? No, moral of the story, take care of your neighbors or something. The government's screwing everybody over. Old ladies, y'all shouldn't be eating dog food or cat food either. It's not for people.